Hey guys, what's going on? So before we start this, I want to teach you something. I want you to say these three words out loud. Raise up lights. Now what you want to do is say them really quickly. Go ahead. I have just taught you how to say razor blades in Australian. You're welcome. So anyway, on to the video now. What we're doing here, we're going after Naga, the mega boss. Going to be starting in 5 seconds. And I'm going to be walking you through my strategy. First of all, and then after a few battles, we're going to switch over and do a different strategy. So right now we're taking Wise Dory and Phoenix. Uh, you may be asking why Phoenix? Well, I have my Phoenix enhanced, which means its rare skill gives me, I believe, 40% more damage right now when I land a critical for 5 seconds. So that it is more damage output. And then I switched my second team, which is Mephisto and Boric, uh, for some big burst damage. I will hopefully get Mephisto's boost, as well as uh, Boric's power, of course. Boric is very, very strong, so I'll be getting his power as well. And then, typically, around the time she sends me to sleep, I'll leave the battle. Sometimes I do it earlier if she gets me with her stone gaze stuff. Um, yeah, so... Fell asleep now, didn't have any crowd control uh, immunity skills ready, so I couldn't avoid it. We're gonna go in again with the same strat, just talk a bit more about what's going on there. Alright, so here we go, second round, starting again, of course, with Wise Dory and Red Phoenix's skill, and then I actually try and switch out before Naga appears so that Mephisto has a chance to really spawn. And you know, Mephisto dies pretty much instantly. He is still alive right now, which is actually, okay, well, there he goes, which was actually amazing for him to survive that. That long because it's usually after one hit he's going to uh, go down and get killed actually sometimes I can't even get his buff before he dies but this time I was able to so that's uh, that was good it actually really is okay well I got hit by the stone gaze so I'm gonna go ahead and quit this one as well so let's see what damage we're up to we're up to almost 50 million damage, which is pretty good because the Mega Boss has only been around for two minutes now. It is 2202, as you can see up there. All right, going in again, same strategy as before, but after this one, we're going to switch it up. Go with the uh, Captain Sam approach, which uh, Captain Sam is actually more popular in Naga than Boric because of his ranged abilities. Oops. <laughs> Well, I kind of uh, screwed that up pretty bad. Just went and go and smashed some air over there, but that's okay. We're coming back to Naga now. I think it is also possible to land Deathmark on Naga, but it is really hard. Way harder than the other Mega Bosses. And since I couldn't get Mephisto's boost and actually everything wasn't going all that well, I decided to end it early. And we're going to go ahead and switch up the pets now. So let's take a look at our pets here. Uh, we're going to take... We're going to replace Phoenix with Sam. Uh, we're going to have Sam to start out with this time, and we're going to put Mephisto with Boric, and we're going to put Hades with Nezha down there. So we're going to try and land Deathmark on Naga, but I'm not totally sure if that's going to work. So we're going to go in now. Of course, I uh, get a bit of distance between me and where Naga spawns, and I'm going to go ahead and activate Wise Dory and um, Captain Sam. Uh, be before she spawns and just start firing away. Then you want to wait until uh, she is a bit closer or she's starting to walk away uh, from her center area before spawning your pets. Okay, so I was able to land Deathmark on Naga. Pretty cool. Gonna start firing away now. Hope to get some of those uh, Deathmark enabled hits in there. If I could get the wave in there also. Well, I couldn't see if she was still Deathmark, but maybe. So my Hades is still alive, which is uh, rather phenomenal. Usually he's dead way before now. I did get stunned, but even so, it seems like a shame. I'm gonna switch out to Mephisto and Boric and just start smashing away. I believe I did get Mephisto's buff, although I can't really see. All right, well, I've uh, fell asleep, but even so, Mephisto is still alive, so I think I might stick around. Uh, try and get a few more smashes in there and hopefully get Mephisto's buff if he ever wakes up. There it goes. Now I'm just gonna... Ah, come on, leave me alone. Okay, I'm out of here. The, that was really annoying, because then I got freaking just getting thrown around and then finally turned into stone. 
So, well, we're up to 85 million, so uh, three rounds, pretty decent, pretty decent. We're gonna go in again with the same strategy here in 10 seconds. I'm going to keep rambling on for those 10 seconds so I don't have to cut this part out. I'm really hoping you are enjoying this rambling because it's really talking about absolutely nothing and just uh, to waste time and because I'm lazy bastard, I, I wanna cut out as least parts as possible. But anyway, we are back into the mega boss and we're going to, <laughs> I'm really sorry, this is crap. Um, we're gonna go ahead and use the uh, rare skills here. There's actually not much more to, to uh, say about this strategy. The main important thing is to wait until Naga comes out of her center area because if you spawn the pets there, while she's there, she's going to attack straight away and kill your Hades. Uh, Hades has taken a lot of damage already. I'm actually not totally sure. Did I already do a Naga, a Naga guide? I don't know. I'm not. I I'm not totally sure if I did a Naga Guide already, I mean I've done so many Tai Chi Panda videos it's kind of hard to keep track and remember, but I don't think so. I know I did uh, two Tree Int Guides and a Nimus Guide, but I don't think I've ever done a Naga Guide. I Oh, I may be thinking of about that uh, three star uh, in the in the Naga place that I was doing, uh, how to three star Naga, but that's not the same as the Mega Boss, I mean it has all the same moves and stuff. But when you're going for mega boss uh, rankings, it, it is a little bit different. You don't need to bring Naga to uh, in quest mode, but you need to bring her in mega boss. Anyway, we have totally full constitution and fortitude. We're actually basically done with the mega boss already uh, because I think I have done enough damage to get in first place more or less. So we're gonna go ahead and take care of our full constitution and fortitude here. Just auto-looting stuff and um, showing you guys what I'm auto-looting. I will need Sun Wukong for one of my pets. I think it's either Cap Sam or Phoenix. One of them needs Sun Wukong souls, 40 of them. Also trying to farm him as well as Phoenix. Still trying to evolve my Phoenix and I forgot to build my Citadels. So I'm going to go ahead and do that as well. Uh, feast, sure, why not? And, oh, we have Mephisto Timed Pet. I think he was actually here yesterday as well. I'm not totally sure if I'm going to be spending diamonds in Mephisto this time around. I'm not totally sure if he's a pet that I'm going to keep long term. I mean, he is really, really awesome, like his buff and everything. But it just seems like I would need so many diamonds, which I don't have right now, to get him to a point where he won't die instantaneously from basically everything. Not totally sure if I'm going to invest the diamonds this time. Uh, maybe next time he comes around. Not totally sure guys, so I may be able to get him to Evo 6 uh, Because I have him at Evo 4 right now, so I might be able to get him to Evo 6 uh, If I were to spend all my diamonds, but then yeah, I don't know I'm very low on solar nucleus, so I wouldn't really be able to enhance him straight away And then even when I would enhance him, I wouldn't be able to do anything with his enhanced skills I mean the speed buff when he's giving the attack buff is really cool also So it's definitely something to consider and I guess while we're just doing all this uh, daily stuff It is kind of 9 o'clock at night, so I was a little bit late on that while we're doing this daily stuff I want to talk about something you know uh, I guess you guys have been noticing I've over the last week or two I've been doing a lot of these other games uh, these sponsored games and I just want to talk about that a little bit these games uh, help support my channel a bit you know it's it's nothing really huge right now because you guys definitely aren't interested in those games and I and I understand that you guys are subscribed for Tai Chi Panda mostly most of you and uh, that's what you want to see so I definitely uh, didn't expect anything else, but there are still, uh, there. there is a portion of you that are interested in them and will watch them and will uh, give them a try and install them and for that I'm really really thankful because each install helps to support my channel and keep me going, you know, I do spend a lot of time and a, and a lot of effort goes into my channel even though it may not seem like it, uh, just some guy behind a microphone uh, talking while playing. Uh, it doesn't seem like all that, but there is a lot of stuff in the background you guys don't see. Editing, promotion, thumbnails. So it's not just uh, hit the record button, talk, and upload. It's not so simple. Anyway, that's not the point. I just want to say please don't be angry at me for uploading some sponsored games from time to time. I know I did a lot this week, like maybe three or so, and Eternal Arena technically is a sponsored game, but I am actually actively playing it. Even though it is technically sponsored, it doesn't 
it doesn't really feel like that way to me, but of course I do have to legally say that this is a sponsored game, blah blah blah. So just, you know, rambling on a little bit, you know, talking person to person about what's going on. I will be slowing down a bit with the uh, sponsored games because I feel a sort of uneasiness, you know, even though most of the time I, I would say I think on the day I uploaded Monster Castle, I didn't upload anything else because there were some problems getting the link and uh, that was delayed a long time so I didn't have time to upload any other video, but I think every other time I've uploaded a sponsored video, I have uploaded um, Taichi Panda 2. There may have been a day I missed, like I said with the Monster Castle, but most of the time I am uploading Taichi Panda. I don't think there will be another video today. I think this will be the only one. Maybe I'll do another one on Eternal Arena, a short one. I would have something recorded already, so I might think about doing that. But anyway guys, I think I've rambled long enough, and for those of you that are still sticking around uh, until this point, thanks a lot for dealing with that. And yeah, so I just want to wish you guys a nice day, and thanks a lot for watching. Till next time. Anyway, we decided to go into Mega Boss for one last round.